Is Kita-san the silver bullet for sustainable agriculture? Could it be the game changer we've all been waiting for? Does the hype live up to the results in the field? Let's look at the product claims, the research available, and what still needs to be done to make it truly effective. So, you've probably heard claims like a biostimulant effect, antifungal and antiviral properties, right? It also has a plant defense priming mode of action and reduces nematode populations. And guess what? Research backs a lot of this up with literally hundreds of white papers behind these responses on different plants, diseases, and pests. But hold on. Here's the kicker. Most commercial formulations don't have the efficacy data to back them up, rate studies, and field trials to ensure reliable results just yet. Here's why. Different molecule sizes and concentrations produce contrasting results, and rate studies are limited. There's a lot of research that still needs to be done to dial in this powerhouse molecule for consistent results. Don't buy into the hype without asking for the data. Start small. Test it out. Kita-san is likely to be one of the best tools for sustainable agriculture in the future, but only if we use it right. 